Hi Scorpio, welcome to Buddy Tarot. This is going to be your reading for the month of August 2023. So let's jump right in and see what energies we have for you. Scorpio, I hope you're doing well. Thank you for all your likes, shares and subscribes and for helping this channel grow. I'm going to do a traditional Celtic cross and then we'll get clarifiers for each of the cards. So Scorpio, starting off the reading, we have the Seven of Cups. That's that's us feeling a bit confused, if not, um, you know, a bit of mixed emotions here about a new beginning that's coming because this is being crossed by the Fool. I feel like, Scorpio, uh, there's a new direction that you're looking towards and uh, the Seven of Cups is normal to be feeling at this time because, you know, the Fool is often uh, somebody who is starting afresh and heading towards an unknown direction so when we head towards the unknown there is bound to be confusion and chaos and that is being reflected in your emotions at this time with the seven of cups because the universe is pushing you towards a new beginning and you feel you know a certain kind of way you could also be exploring your options as in what is the best way to go about when it comes to this a new beginning in your subconscious we have the ace of swords so you're pretty clear about something we'll find out what that is about uh in the recent past you're showing up as the page of cups so you know you tried to make something work you know showed up in an emotional way or made extended yourself maybe made an made an offer towards somebody maybe you went looking for love somewhere but uh, page of cups is essentially extending oneself now this could be someone who extended themselves towards you as well in your conscious mind we have the wheel of fortune and this is in sync with the fool because the wheel of fortune is talking about changes which you're very aware of probably there's a much needed change or the energies are such that you know there has to be a change there's nothing we can do about it uh, the fool often makes a choice about moving towards a new direction, but the wheel of fortune brings in the new, irrespective of whether we choose it or not. So that's in your conscious mind. In the immediate future, we have the three of swords. So that's that's feeling heartache and sadness. There could be a separation from somebody or a connection that is, uh, or a situation that's causing you to feel not good. With the three of swords how you see yourself is the ten of pentacles so scorpio you know the stability you bring to the table and you know what what it takes and you know that you have what it takes to get things done you know with the ten of pentacles your your you see yourself as stable you know your value and you know what you can provide and the kind of stability you bring to others and you see yourself somewhat in that way um, the energy that surrounds you and you may not be aware of is the eight of wands There's some kind of shift that's coming in it could be in the form of communication not necessarily it could just be an energetic shift in your hopes and fears we have the ten of wands so you're fearing being burdened with something you're fearing that it's going to be difficult for you to keep something hold something together keep it all together and um you know that uh, or you're hoping for a cycle to end you know with the ten of wands that's that's what you're hoping for because in the potential outcome we do have the page which is a which is the ace of wands a brand new um start where you're leaving this burden of all these wands and you're just taking what you need and you're moving ahead with a lot of uh, excitement and a childlike enthusiasm and you know energy so um, let's clarify the seven of cups for you what's this what's these uh, mixed feelings about and what is this confusion about
not lying. So, Scorpio, we have the devil, the four of pentacles and the six of swords. So there is something unhealthy or, you know, a toxic uh, connection. The devil usually, you know, in this figure, the devil is, is alone. There, there are a lot of people around this devil. It's just not a couple of people like the normal tarot. There's a lot of people here. So I feel like there's just a lot of people in your energy that are not doing good for you at this time. There could be some unhealthy patterns with the, with the devil here and the cigarette in the hand here and the seven of cups here and all the smoke. You know, smoke could be an issue. Smoking could be an issue for some of you. And with the Four of Pentacles, you know, it's like you've been holding on to a certain something. But now, you know, you're finally trying to move to calmer waters and move into a better headspace. And you know there is a need for it. But I'm not sure if you're physically letting go because, like, mentally you're moving away from this devil energy, whatever this is, whether it's a person or a dynamic, you're moving away from it. Uh, disconnecting from it mentally but physically I'm not sure you're still attached to this devil energy which is why there's confusion and it's difficult to you know embody the full energy if if one is attached to a devil energy whether it is ourselves or an external factor so maybe that's why there's the seven of cups because Scorpio I feel like to be honest this is you know it's like the fool and the seven of cups with the devil. It's like you want to take a new beginning. You want to take a leap of faith. But I'm not quite sure if, you know, with the seven of cups, we are able to see the best option for us. And there's a, there's a sense of confusion. But regardless, you, with the, six of, with the six of swords, we know that there has to be a movement forward. Like mentally, one needs to get past this, this situation, whatever it be, whether it is a toxic habit that one ha has by themselves or a toxic person or a dynamic that one is dealing with let's clarify the fool so we have the ten of wands the lovers and the two of wands so there is uh you know again this is connecting to your hopes and fears there is a connection that you're dealing with uh, somebody very significant and it means a lot to you with the lovers but it's it comes with a lot of baggage you know this connection and this is exactly what you're fearing because you know I, I feel like Scorpio you've had enough of the baggage and you you don't want to deal with this baggage anymore and and now you're studying your options and you're looking for a way out you're ready to go on a trip probably some kind of physical movement you're sitting on the car here so <coughs> sorry about that excuse me but um, it's like as important as this connection is for you you're you're You've had enough of it because it's too much to keep it together. Now, let's see the, the Ace of Swords in your subconscious. So for the Ace of Swords, we have the Queen of Pentacles, the Queen of Swords, and the Four of Wands. Scorpio, you're absolutely sure about investing in yourself this time. And you're absolutely sure about the boundaries that you want to set and how you want to go about achieving your stability. Whether it is at work or in the home front, I feel like with the Queen of uh, Pentacles and the Four of Wands, you're, you're finally starting to focus on yourself. And you know, the Queen of Swords is just so unlike us Scorpio people because it this is the Queen of Swords is not how a Scorpio, a true Scorpio normally functions. When a, when a Scorpio embodies a Queen of Swords energy, it's because he or she has been pushed to that that degree where it becomes a matter of self-respect where one has to put up boundaries and this is going to and you're just sure about how you want to achieve your stability you're absolutely determined and clear about it we have ten of swords you know this clarity this ace of swords has not come easy there's a price we pay for the ace of swords which is the ten of swords you know when you go through this painful ending you see the the light, the twilight, and then you get the clarity with the Ace of Swords. So you've paid the price for it. Let's look at the Page of Cups in the recent past. Whether this is you extending yourself or someone extending themselves towards you. Too many cards, Scorpio. I'll just put those back. 
Okay, so we have strength, the seven of pentacles and the tower. So, you know, Scorpio, you tried, you tried your best to put your best foot forward with the page of cups and with the seven of pentacles, you've waited long enough. Uh, as difficult as it has been for you to wait for something to come to fruition, uh, you've waited, you've, uh, you've extended yourself and, uh, but it hasn't worked you know because the tower is here and the point is you you know with the seven of pentacles we might continue to invest in something and hope for results but if the foundation is faulty to begin with for example if you're gardening and if you have a certain kind of plant but you put this but, but, but what we've done is we put the wrong kind of soil the plant is never going to grow it's never going to thrive and this is what is happening here with the tower you know you're heavily invested into something and, and you're trying to start over with the page of cups you started that i mean you tried that in the past you know as the page of cups as difficult as it was but it just blew up in your face you know this whole thing let's look at uh, the uh, the wheel of fortune in your conscious energy we have the nine of swords the four, yeah see there's a there's a new beginning around for you scorpio and you know that you have to you must take a leap of faith, of course, with caution. You must watch your step and where you go. But with the Nine of Swords, I, I would say that you are worried about whether you are taking the right uh, step or not. Because the, the fool energizes the direction that they're facing towards. And they they leave behind, they de... Uh, what is the opposite of energize? I'm not sure, but they just they take back their energy from what their back is turned towards so i feel like scorpio you might have been in a situation and already established situation in a ten of pentacles because this is how you see yourself you're you're an empress already in a ten of pentacles situation this is this is something that you have achieved in the past but but for some reason this ten of pentacles is not stable or there has been something that is faulty about it and you know that you need to move in a different direction and that means movement you know moving from the empress to the fool these are very different energies you and you're worried about the direction that you're moving towards let's look at the this could also be a mother and a you know a mother and a child that's in in this together scorpio if you're with a child you know you know this could be your child in your energy because we have the ten of pentacles here it's a family dynamic you and your child together if you know there is something about movement there is a change in path and you're stressed about it with the nine of swords but we all have our we have a we, we must pray you know that's all i can say scorpio we must pray to god we must meditate we must pray to whoever whoever you believe in your higher power pray for strength and pray for courage why the three of swords? Yeah, the wheel of fortune. You're not happy about this change. And the three of swords again. The three, the wheel of fortune, the three of swords, clarifying the three of swords and the nine of wands. This change, whatever is happening, it's it's guaranteed. It's it's happening. And it's it's difficult because there is going to be a separation. There could be a separation between you and your child, Scorpio. I feel so. Or it could be between you and the significant person that you're dealing with. I thought I saw the lovers somewhere. Yeah, we started off the reading with the lovers. So there is an important choice regardless. But either you're having to move with your child or you could be in separation from your child in the immediate future. It could be your pet, whoever you love, somebody. Um, you know, with the nine of wands, this person here is studying researching and doing their thing it's not the normal one that we see where with the you know the one that's guarding and protecting but it looks like you're you're focusing into something that is helping you move forward with the nine of wands you're you're stressed you're drained you're burnt out but look at this the determination so it's going to happen and you know the three of swords I'm not going to underestimate, nobody underestimates the Three of Swords. It's difficult for anybody to go through with the Three of Swords. But I think as Scorpios, that's what we, um, that's what we transmute. That's, that's the energy from which we transmute ourselves. Um, the Nine of Cups came flying out. I was not 
you know, I wasn't still asking the question, so I'll, I'll put it back. I want to know uh, what's this Ten of Pentacles? Yeah, Five of Swords, Ten of Swords, Eight of Pentacles. This is to do with, this could be your work or even your home because the Ten of Pentacles is overall your stability. And stability is associated with our home life, our family life, and our and otherwise our profession or our studies or mostly it's home life and professional life. So if you're retired, you know, this is something going on at home where it's just escalating out of hand from the five to the ten. Um, and you realize that something needs to be done about this situation. Something needs to be done about this ten of pentacles situation. You're probably diving into work using work to you know motor ahead this entire change could be related to work you know your ten of pentacles uh and the eight of pentacles it's your work your family life and there's a major change that's happening and we have the eight of wands in the energy that surrounds you that you may not be aware of so let's see what this is about what kind of shift are we expecting all right, so we have the King of Swords, the Ace of Cups, and the Knight of Cups. All right, so there's suddenly this love here. All right, it looks like it's coming from an air sign. And if it's not an air sign, it's somebody who handled the connection or handled you in the past from a rational space, might have disregarded feelings in the past. But with the Ace of Cups, it looks like this person is extending uh, themselves to you. There's love around the corner, Scorpio. You may not know it, but there is somebody who wants to come around. With the Knight of Cups, somebody desires to be your lover. You know, there's two cups here. Ace of Cups and the, the, the Knight of Cups. There's two, two cups. And this King of Swords is on a wheelchair. I'm not quite sure why. But there's, there's somebody who's... <laughs> this person has... What is this in this bird in their hand? It's a... Looks like a vulture. Well, uh, you know, this person is could be kind of stuck. I don't feel like with somebody who's on a, uh, you know, on a wheelchair. This person has been through something. I feel like I'm just getting drawn to the wheelchair. I mean, he looks healthy, but he looks like he's tired or something. I'm not sure. But there's love around you, Scorpio. That's the good news. I hope you notice it. How would you? Because your your head is down, you know. Keep, your head is down because you're trying to keep something together. So you fear or you hope for a cycle to end. Let's see. The Page of Cups. The Five of Pentacles and the Six of Pentacles. Yeah. You know, you're in a situation where Scorpio... Firstly, in, in your conscious mind, you're coming up as the emperor. So you know that you nurture, you give and you care for people. And that's just the energy you embody, whether you like it or not. You know, you're, you're the empress. And with the six of pentacles, you're charitable with your time, effort and energy. And there's a lot of people around you that want, want your energy and effort. But, you know, with the five, there's progress from the five to the six. This is a personal situation where you're working on your stability. You're, you're showing progress and there's movement. This movement from the Five of Pentacles energy to the Six of Pentacles is difficult. Regardless, as the Page of Cups, you know, again, Scorpio, you're putting your best foot forward. You are fearing that it's going to be too difficult for you to be in this energy of, in this charitable energy that you have been in. And it's caused you a lot of distress because, you know, you've, the Five of Pentacles is here. So as difficult as it is, you, you continue to share your resources, your yourself and your, your beautiful energy as the Empress. But it's burdensome. And, you know, we have the Page of Cups here and we have the Page of Cups here. I think you fear, Scorpio, that you'll go back to extending yourself. Maybe you shouldn't and maybe you, you don't want to. I'm not saying or I'm not telling you what to do, but this is showing up in your fear. Your fear, if you're fearful that you show up as the Page of Cups again. And over here, the Page of Cups faces this direction, and over here, it's in this direction. So it's like, you see, here it's towards the left, and over here, it's towards the right. 
so you're you're afraid that you'll come back to this maybe and you'll maybe extend yourself again and it's going to be difficult but well maybe scorpio you you know best you know and it's not necessary that our fears are real maybe you'll just be be in the six of pentacles as the empress and you'll be fine you know maybe it won't be that burdensome we have to consider the fact that our fears might not be real now let's look at the potential outcome which is the page of wands So for the Page of Wands, we get the King of Cups, the Page of Wands again, and the Seven of Swords. All right, Scorpio. So in the potential outcome, we see that you're showing up as the King of Cups where there is a situation or a person, this person, this entire dynamic that you're dealing with, you're showing up with a lot of love, a sense of maturity you know, where you're able to love from a distance, you know, keep your distance and love. And with the page of wands, you're keeping yourself engaged. But with the seven of swords, there is sometimes a tendency to fall back into a certain pattern or a certain behavior that wasn't so good. I feel like this could be a sneaky person that you're dealing with, that you're loving from a distance um, I, I don't know how else to say it it's like there's, there's somebody not so honest that you're dealing with but as the page of wands you know You're moving on, Scorpio. You're moving on with the Page of Wands. You're definitely exploring new places, if not new hobbies. Uh, with the Page of Wands, we see the, what is that called? The ukulele, the tiny guitar in the woman's hand. But there's something sneaky here with the Seven of Swords. It could be a tendency for you to fall back into a certain pattern, you know, with the devil. We have to consider we have the devil here. I think the seven of swords is connected to this devil here. I don't want to end the reading on this note, so I'll just get, I'll get three more cards. Let's see what the universe has to say. I'll use this deck. What does the universe have to say to Scorpio? Let's clarify the seven of swords what's the seven of swords for scorpio in the potential outcome what's the seven of swords for scorpio in the potential outcome all right so we have the star the six of cups and the four of pentacles so yeah there's like scorpio this is you cheating yourself starting to be hopeful about a past situation and holding on to it there is a tendency to go back where you you are you know expecting things to work out I think that's why the Seven of Swords is showing up. Or this could be someone sneaky from the past that's reaching out, you know, with the Six of Cups. Somebody who's holding on to you. And it's like you're protecting yourself. Just be, watch out, Scorpio. Just watch out. Watch out for any toxic patterns within yourself before we point fingers at other people. Watch out for any toxic pattern, thought processes and habits within yourself. This is a very crucial month a lot of major arcanas the wheel of fortune major changes on the way just let's just embrace this so scorpio this is what i have for you uh, thank you if, if you're still watching thank you for your patience thank you for watching sharing liking and subscribing and i will catch you again soon later bye